The year of the Olympic qualification is most likely the toughest year for any athlete, and especially for the ones who have to fight for the last spot. In order to earn enough points for the qualification, players travel all around the world and play almost double the amount of tournaments they would usually play on every continent. Because in the end, every result can make the difference between qualifying for the biggest dream of their lives or staying at home. The German men's singles are struggling right now, as there is no real top player since Mark Spiebler who can challenge the world elite on the highest level. So at the moment there are a couple of guys with a world ranking around 70, what means that they really have to fight for every point in order to qualify for the Olympic Games in August. In the moment Fabian Roth and Kai Schäfer are just separated by 86 points and that is literally nothing in the end. Only one of them can qualify, so it will most likely come down to the wire and the last few tournaments will decide who will make it to Paris. But in the end being the best German player doesn't necessarily mean that you will qualify for the Olympics. And there are also other guys that they are competing with. Hello, my name is Daniel Bosniuk, I'm 23 years old, I'm a Ukrainian single player. So for me, this is a super interesting story, as Danilo came from the Ukraine to Germany and is now practicing with the German national team here in Mülheim. So right now at the moment, Danilo is a little bit ahead of Fabian and Kai. The Olympic qualification process is really heating up. Uh, we have last six weeks left, essentially, uh, of the qualification period. And today, I think Danilo has a little bit of head start against uh, the other three German players, uh, Kai, Fabian, uh, Lance, in terms of Olympic qualification. And if you look at the race to Paris, he actually is the only one of those three who makes the cut. So at the moment he would be qualified. In the end, every good result can make the difference between those players here. First of all, Kai, how are you? How are you feeling? Uh, honestly, I'm feeling very bad. Uh, that was like a very, very bad performance. Uh, are you ill? Uh, I I feel like I'm ill since three weeks. Uh, like it's not going away. Mm -hmm. um, but the last few days I felt better. But today, when when there were some intense rallies, I couldn't keep up. Uh, like I, after that, I struggled so much. My my legs felt like, I don't know, pudding. Cramping? <laughs> no, no, not cramping, but like very soft and like... Oh, jelly. Yeah, jelly. Okay. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's very disappointing. Of uh, course, in this in this weeks, um, it's not only about playing a home tournament here and enjoying the crowd, but it's also about the Olympic qualification, and especially your race against Kai, who also played uh, next yeah. to you on court. Is this like a special uh, pressure situation for you, or do you don't actually feel it on court? Yeah, sometimes uh, not on court. So, but of course, it's like yeah, two months left. So, of course, it's really important. But on court, I'm not thinking about Olympic qualification. It was nice to play. As I said, I'm not tired from trips, I'm not tired from traveling. It's my home, I can prepare good meals for me before. Also, here is my girlfriend, she's supporting me as much as she can. She's coaching me, we analyze the matches before, yeah. So, uh, I feel really confident I, and I feel uh, not alone, like always. Because uh, before I was struggled, I've been alone. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to be alone uh, and prepare yourself also, still focus. So you can say this is already like a home tournament for you now? It for me, yes. Like it's my first time and I feel like uh, I'm home favorite player because the club is supporting me as much as they can and the uh, spectators and uh, I, I live in close to the hall. Uh, it's really good opportunity for me and solution uh, to show my best, to show my best.
minutes off, I played one hour. So and uh, next one I have to prepare. It's in two hours. Uh, it's really really hard for me. And uh, the main focus is like as I said mentally, uh, because uh, you can be tired physically, but when your brain not working well uh, and you have to run it as much as the opponent gives you, it's really tough. So I will try my best uh, on second match. I have, I think, 16-10 and then he come back again and uh, uh, my focus was not, not to be stiff, yeah? Not take a stiffness because when you are stiff you, you cannot move the opponent and you cannot play good angle shots. So when he come back I was just trying to keep the rally to give him opportunity to, to, to do a mistake. Wow, I, I, I was grateful. I was, uh, I was, I was like so nice, and uh, I was happy to be able to uh, throw out to the main draw because it was really main focus for me, and uh, it was kind of like confidence because uh, when you win first game, it's good, yeah. When you won second in a row, when you are tired, you are really satisfied by your performance. So now still energy left. For the main yeah, for role. talking, you see, I'm talking really loud, <laughs> and uh, yeah, still energy. I, I have, I, I hope I will have some recovery. I will try to do it with cold baths, or otherwise it can be the physio, and uh, also take uh, good quality of meal, uh, sleep well, and uh, ready for tomorrow.